God bless everyone. Today for breakfast I'm trying something that I've never tried before. And that's a red dragon fruit. Have a look at that, it looks like beetroot. Crazy colours. Wow. Tastes like the normal white one. It is lunch time and it's Teochew noodles. So we've got some minced pork and some prawns and they look like fish balls cut up or something in a noodle hey why not oh. just showing now i haven't had this before oh. looks spicy is it let's find out Peanuts in there. Mm. Peanut. That's nice. How much is this? Four eighty. Four dollars eighty. What a bargain. Okay, well we are at Marina Bay and there's a Marina Bay Carnival and Bernice being her prudent self found some tickets forty dollars worth online somebody was selling them for 20 so we've got some beers i got a ride on that thing over there and it goes from there over to here so we're going to spend the afternoon at the carnival what time is it 6 30. okay well we've got a quite a bit of day left to go let's go and suss out this carnival and get my beers that twenty dollars was two beers and two rides on the on the big charo plane thing. So that should be exciting. Huh? Oh my god! <laughs> we'll definitely not be drinking the beers before we go on that thing. That's for sure. This is Singapore City. Do you want to go on that thing? I don't want to go on that. I want to go on the chair plane. Yay! So Bernie's brought some snacks, as you do. And we got a deli cake here. Let's see what this is like. It's from Malaysia. Malaysian deli cake. Mmm! Man, that smells good. Oh, it smells like chocolate fudge. choice. Need some food in our stomach so we can throw it up on the ride later. Well here we are at the carnival. It's pretty busy. Well that's not the biggest place in the world but holy cow. That thing is making me nauseous. But uh, it's mainly just rides and winning bears for your girlfriend. Which we won't be doing. All of a sudden, I feel like a Bundaberg rum. Everyone's trying to win one of these big bears.
the carousels. We're going really fast. Cheers, everyone. Bottoms up. Ah. Oh, that's good. What do you reckon about yours? Is yours good? Oh, we had one. We had two tickets for beer. Luckily, Bernice doesn't drink beer, so. Darts, gonna play the dart game, see if I can win Bernice a toy. Ah. My grouping was okay, it's just I was off. Ah, damn it. Here's a nighttime shot. Oh, that's coming up all right on the GoPro. Anyway, we're going to go and eat some dinner somewhere, so let's go. People will take photos of anything, won't they? <laughs> for dinner we are now in the CBD and we've come to the touristy Hawker Center Lao Passat festival market we're just gonna have a look here see how different this is to your traditional Hawker Center oh have a look at straight away they got beers on tap what more do you want and it's very posh this is the sort of place if you want probably more less traditional food at a greater, more expensive price. But it's very nice. I can, I can see why everyone comes here. Mm. It smells nice, that's for sure. Man, I'm starving now. So yeah, everything here is, costs about, I oh know, 30% more than it would anywhere else. But it's right in the CBD and I'm sure their rents are higher. Look, I'm making excuses for them, okay? Oh yeah, hang on. Yeah, all this stuff normally is about four bucks and it's seven eighty, eight dollars Yeah, much higher. And chicken rice is $6.50, it's normally $3.80. So you come here if you want to get drained of your finances but here is a satay street they call it oh there goes some satay there oh hang on a sec there we go but you'd be paying top dollar here and bernice is actually a minority here it's all full of tourists and and uh white people so this is the least place i want to be hanging around whiteies but there's lots of people here Wow, look at that, goes on all over there. 
Mmm, lots of food though, it smells good. But if you're ever in town, you want some satay, look, it's all just satay. Have a look, there's old mate fanning his satays. Yeah. Mm, looks good, huh? Very the best, best in the street. Yeah. <laughs> When you live your life on a budget, you don't want to eat here. So we're going to go somewhere that's very close to here, but probably regular prices. Maxwell Markets, Maxwell Markets it's called. Back on the Ofos. Slow down, four knots! But here's a Maxwell Markets, CPO. Maxwell Markets and these are in the CBD uh, it's pretty late at night what time is it well, it's nine o'clock at night so uh, there's still quite a few of them open but this is the very traditional one it's it's really big it's, it's a, quite a number of rows deep Chicken rice, yum. Wonderful. A little satay. So we've got a sour sop drink here. Make this sour sop. Can't wait to try this. Not as good as the sour sop on ice. A bit salty actually. Sour sop. Still got those chewy little bits in it though, I love them. Alright, so we got some Hokkien. No. Folks, <laughs> we got some Popia. Popia. What's that, egg or something? Yeah, yeah. Egg and sliced turnip, yeah. looks like. Which we had yeah, which we had the other day. Had that beautiful smoky barbecue flavour. I can't hear the difference. Uh, make sure you try one if you're ever somewhere that sells them. Because they're good. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.